The sun is shining brightly, very bright. I've got a mining rig running, burning power. Turn on the monitor. Monitor is plugged into solar. Hey, focus. The uh, computer is plugged into solar. We're getting shares. I'm going to shut that off to not waste power. We are mining cryptocurrency. And the voltage is still 28.6 volts. Bright sunlight. Really beautiful day today. So I'm mining cryptocurrency for free in the sun. Hey guys. I'm outside with lumber that I milled myself on my own mill. 2x4s. Real 2x4s that I'm about to cut and use to make the side brackets on the uh, solar panels. So I need four brackets for these panels. So I've got two real 2x4s here, which I will cut. And then I've got the other um, solar panel rack in the middle of the yard. So um, I've got four for now. I want to do these up here first today. And those will have to be another day because I forgot to get the bolts for that one. Anyway, so we've got here, I'm going to go with 38 inches. Well, I think... I guess I could make my arm longer, but I don't want it to stick out so far. I'm going to double check my measurement, but I think I can get away with 38 inches on the length of that. Because we don't want it to stick out too far. Of course, I can always trim it later if I decide. But another reason I didn't change my solar panel racks yet, they're set for summer. I wanted to make these brackets and measure for the summer rather than trying to guess what I need for winter. I hope that makes things clear. I didn't want to adjust them for winter until I had these measured. I could have measured, I guess, it later, but I wasn't thinking like that. I was thinking I need to make the brackets first. And that's just how my mind works. It is how it is. So I'm going to go double check my measurements. So it looks like 36 inches will do it right. Cat's going to want to run in a minute. Now this is not going to cut through all the way. I thought he would run. It's wet. Battery's bad on the battery holder is bad, so I have to use my foot. <laughs> the battery doesn't stick in anymore. Anyway, but it still works. It's a great tool. There's one. We'll get one arm done now, right away, first, and then make sure I like it before I do another. Alright, now we got those. Now I've got a drill. I've got to measure where I want to put the, uh, oh boy. That's a problem. It's warm out today. I 
I've got to mark out where I want to drill the hinge points on that. So right now I've got to put a hinge hole in here. I don't want to be too close to the end and cause splitting. So I'm going to come up a little ways and eye it up. It doesn't have to be perfectly dead center. But I want to put the hinge here and then the 2x4 will be on inside of that. And if I'm doing my planning right, it should work out well. I'm going to come down a little because the 2x4 is going to want to bump up in here. Okay, that'll be for the hinge point on that side. Now we have to put the hole in the 2x4 arm that's going to go on there next. I'm just going to eye it up here and put a hole again not too far in but I also got to consider I'm going to have to cut off an angle on this because I'm going to want this to be able to turn up in there without hitting the solar panels. Now, if I've calculated correctly, I'm not an engineer and I've been known to make mistakes. I know you can all vouch for that. Uh, I need to cut a piece to go on a 2x4 side post. I'm going to cut off before that, at that knot. Oh wow, it didn't cut through. That's odd. All right. The rest is kindling wood. Now, I want to go four past the post, and let's go eight, ten. I think I'll go ten inches. Gives me enough room to have some meat on that. Uh, maybe not. Let me see. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. So I'm going to go four. That's the post. Eight inches, and I could put the hinge point in there. That's fine. I'm going to go eight inches. If I stick out too far, I can't drop the... Uh, solar panel down any further it'll hit that point oh one very wise idea before I cut that off let's drill a hole in there eh? easy to drill in one piece four so we'll put it at six on here so put a hole through here for the pin not the hinge point this is the pin I'm intentionally wobbling it out a little bit bigger to give me some playroom and flexibility later on that so it'll move in and out easy. All right, now there's a there's a retaining pin post. Now I'm going to set this out at 28 inches in height, using the screws I took off of here already to mount this on. They're right about here, okay. And my method to my madness will soon makes sense this comes up here flush now and I can put the tie on point there so much better I don't think that should ever come loose. I might put a third in there later and give that some serious consideration. Yeah, I might as well. Three screws strength.
Now that can never shear off from wind force. One screw has held it all this time. One screw is all that's ever been on there to date. Now, I've got to bring this up, this arm up. I forgot, I got, need my pencil, I'll be right back. I need to bring this arm up now, into here, and mark where that hole's going to be. See, now we have no more angular stress on this board. So much better. Before, it was at an angle and twisted. I can't believe they held up this long, to be totally honest. I just, I'm amazed that everything held up. It's very, very solid and stable and rugged now. And it'll have a pull-out pin system to adjust these panels as needed throughout the seasons. So, what I'm going to do now is one way is to come around and mark it through if the pencil will go in and it does there's our mark very very good now I'm gonna put the first mark uh, actually I think I'm just gonna drill it in place I'll be right back so I'm gonna bring that back up Now I'm going to drill that right through so that there's no stress. Now we'll get a pin. This one's too short. I've got to grab the longer bolts out of the house. But for measuring purposes, boom, pin is in. Okay? And that is going to make life so much nicer. Much nicer looking, more professional more stable. Oh, and I don't have to hinge that point right now. Good. That worked out very, very well. I like it. Now I've got to make four more just like it. This is never going to break down now. I'm so much happier. Compare this to this. Well, um, the board is at an angle, all right, because this board is inside here. Can you see my hand? This is inside this board here, and so that board was outside on that point. So there's definitely angular pressure on this board, and as you can see right here, I could never get it flush. You can see the angle, and only one screw was holding it. Now it held all this, what, uh, this one is over a year. The one out in the middle was is going on its second season. Now this held through all the weather, but... We're going to fix that now and make it really nice and secure like this. Very, very good. I like it. I like the looks of it and the feel of it and everything. And then I'm going to measure every couple inches and put more holes along till we, till we get to the point where we have our winter solar angle. Which, uh, depending on how... Yeah, I'm gonna, I should be able to adjust it yet today. Um, we're going to run out of sunlight here. We're going to run out of direct sunlight pretty soon. So I'll go ahead and get this other one set up. I'll be back in a few minutes. Another very solid, strong arm. Very good. I feel good about this. And now I know the panels are perfectly straight. Uh, looking good. Now I've got to figure out the angle of the sun at this time. This is going to be the tricky part. Getting the position where I want the panels to stay because I'm going to have to entirely take off both arms in order to adjust this I'll have to take out both pins bring this into where I think is right uh, facing the sun I might have to tack it temporarily with a screw so that I can uh, get the holes drilled actually I think I'm just going to drill holes throughout okay um, every few inches and then I can 
position it and look at it, position it and look at it. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pull out the pin over here on the other side that you cannot see at this moment. When I pull out this pin, this is going to try to drop or pull up. I'm not sure where the balance is on this. So I'm going to pull out this pin and then try to pull the panels into the closest setting here. I've got three holes out of five just for uh, to see what we got going on here. So I'm not sure which way this is going to pull. It's going to pull away from me. The force is pulling away. Now I should be free. Okay, so adjusting that changes my angle here tremendously. Well, I've got it right there at that point. So I'm only going to have two adjustment holes in between. So I'll have one, two, three. I'll have four positions to change for the seasons. I think that should be fine. we got four seasons in the air. I think that should be all right. Okay, there's the panel now. All right. And there is the sun. I believe it should be good. I'm going to go ahead and make the other arms and drill them out just like that. I'm running out of battery power, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to get accomplished today. But at least uh, we're looking better. Well, guys, there it is. Let me get off my solar panels. Oh. Quite a job, but I got it. So now I can adjust them at will any time of the year for whatever angle of the sun with ease. Um, I, I didn't show you, I bought butterfly uh, nuts to uh, spin them on quickly and release them. I forgot to show you that. So, uh, so much easier to deal with now. Also, as people did say, of course, the snow will slide off quicker and easier at this angle. Definitely an advantage. I'll get better charging. Right now, the sun is now low and it's right on the panels. Really, really good. So I will get better charging. I knew that though, of course. I just, they were screwed in. And uh, just a, two screws on each point. And that was going to be a nightmare to try to adjust manually. And I just didn't want to have to find out what was my sun, summer angle when I had it already. So I hope that makes sense why I didn't do it yet. And um, we haven't been pulling that much power more than we needed. So that's fine. But now I can run the mining rig on a day like this with no problem. Uh, cryptocurrency mining. I've got longer hours of the day now. So that's going to be a, an advantage as uh, the sun gets lower and lower and we get less sunlight um, near the end of the season. So, that's it. I'm going to clean up my tools and call it a day. Unless something comes up, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Also, check out uh, DIYTube.video for a troll-free experience. And uh, I put all my videos over there as well. And you have 100% control over your channel. Spread the word, guys. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm looking funny. Sun's in my eyes. Talk to you later.